Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Centerprise Data Integrator. In this demonstration we'll be showing you Centerprise's ability to integrate uh, Microsoft uh, Dynamics CRM data. First we'll be showing you how you can move uh, Salesforce, uh, an existing Salesforce deployment and all that information including all of the leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities and whatnot uh, over to uh, a fresh deployment of Dynamics CRM, including all of the related information, including the relationships between accounts and contacts. To do that, we'll be using our tool, Centerprise Data Integrator, which you're looking at here, uh, and specifically the one-click Salesforce to Dynamics CRM package, uh, migration package. And that consists of basically a bunch of data flows and workflows. Uh, which you see here in the package. Uh, the data flows are the mapping components and the workflow is the orchestration component uh, which you're looking at here. And it's basically it's tasked with just running tasks one after the other. Uh, first it's running a cleanup of data and then a ID generation which is important for um, basically maintaining referential integrity and then loading uh, and mapping and loading the accounts uh, entity and followed by all the other entities that are dependent on accounts. Uh, so this, and again, these are the data flows, which you see here in the project uh, with the DF extension. To see these, we'll double click and it'll open. And what you're looking at here is basically a mapping from one table to the other. The uh, Salesforce account table mapped into the Dynamic CRM uh, target table. And these blue links here in between are just basically the field mappings dictating on which source field belongs to the destination field. And the purple boxes in between are the data transformations, including a lookup, which if I preview the data here, you can see is a translation of the original Salesforce ID here and the newly generated uh, GUID that will be used to insert data into the account table. Now this is important because uh, other uh, entities will be relying on this uh, identifier and that's how we maintain the relationships between all of the other uh, <coughs> different entities. Uh, so again this is all done for you. Uh, this, this package comes out of the box and you don't have to do anything other than as a user other than uh, select the uh, entry point of this migration package, which is the migration uh, dot workflow here, and then click the run button. Once you do, that will kick off the chain of events, which will eventually run through this thing and eventually load up the dynamic CRM installation that you are pointing to, including loading all of the accounts, uh, contacts, leads, opportunities, as well as the related uh, account and contact information and not just account and contact but any any time any place where you have related uh, information it'll also carry over so that pretty much uh, describes the uh, Salesforce to Dynamics uh, migration package uh, now I'd like to examine how Centerprise treats uh, Dynamics CRM as another uh, connector uh, in the system so uh, Centerprise has a bunch of connectors out of the box uh, including uh, Salesforce and Dynamics and we treat them as any other of the connectors which are mainly database tables uh, including the ability to uh, view information such as column information, uh, key information as well as the ability to uh, write queries uh, and query uh, the tables just, just like as if you were querying a database table. Uh, here you can see where I have a, a list of uh, uh, select statements here. I'm going to select one of them highlight it and click the execute button which will then you can see my query is running here and now I have all of the data that's in, important to me uh, but here you can see they're all select statements uh, they could be insert updates deletes pretty much uh, anything that you would find useful and pretty much anything basic SQL you can do you can do it in, in, with this uh, database browser and query uh, tool here which comes in pretty handy when you're uh, doing a Dynamics and Salesforce integration project you want to make sure that the data that you're expecting <clears throat> is there and be able to quickly manipulate data uh, as well so that uh, pretty much wraps up uh, this demonstration uh, thank you for watching uh, you can find out more by visiting us at www.estera.com uh, where we also have an overview which will show off uh, additional uh, functionality of Centerprise thank you very much